welcome to another GenerationD20.com review video. Today we're going to be talking about Marvel Heroes. Um, the 2006 game? Yes, I, I believe 2006 yeah. is where we finally settled on. Right, 2004 for most of... Yeah. No, it was 1998. Then 2004. Before. Then we... Then we actually looked it up. Yes. Yeah. We think it was 2006. Yep. Uh, so... That game, uh, we don't have it with us this evening. Nick, it's Nick's game, and, and Nick's not here. But, um, yeah, so, got something going on there? Hmm? Well, oh, were we, what were we doing? No, 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 finish your tweet. It's cool. I was just tweeting about how much I hated this game. Oh, oh well. Uh, hashtag, spoiler uh, alert, Marvel sucks. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess, as always, what it really begs the question is, Bob, was it good for you? Um, let me let me explain in all the myriad ways that this game was not good for me. Uh, no, I would argue that this game wasn't good for anyone. Okay. Um, based. I did kind of hate it. I also kind of liked it. No, it an odd you one. you liked the dream that it could have been. You liked you liked the thought the of a Marvel Universe game with lots of intricate pieces. It was very Rune Wars-like with all the tiny cards. Yeah, I don't care about Rune Wars, but I'm with you on It was very Firefly-like with all the tiny cards and the and the, and the things that could be shifted and moved and, oh look, we're playing things and it's, you're pitting players against each other but in a cooperative way. And then you get raped by the Red Skull. Well, okay, we, we had different yeah. experiences. Yeah, it was as, bad. A, as children, apparently. Uh, but the point is, um, that game was really fucking dull. <laughs> and not only was it dull, mm -hmm. but it was clunky and dull. It was poorly designed, poorly thought out, and poorly executed. And it was too goddamn long. Holy shit. Five rounds of five stages in each round? We didn't even finish two rounds, and it was like an hour and a half into the game, and nobody was enjoying themselves. I think Nick was. No. 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 He was in full apology mode. Oh, yeah. Because... Yeah, but that's like where, where Nick lives. <laughs> <laughs> but and he, rightfully so. He knew that no one was enjoying it. Oh, which, it, it was his idea. Which is... Which the it's, point, I, I kind of liked the game. Like, kind of. It had all sorts of, it had all the parts that you need for a cool game. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> well, for whatever reason, it was just mm, it, clunky. Clunky is exactly the word. Well, yeah. it was very much a game where I felt like if we could have taken some of the mechanics and and just whittled them down. So you have, you have two chits. I have the, the yellow one and you have the red one, and it's going to determine my attack and whatever. Not so we flip those. It's a surprise. But then, wait, that's not the only surprise because now we have to also oh, roll dice. dice. Like, yeah. if you didn't have to roll dice at that point, maybe that's better. Right. The mastermind somehow so, so, also being so involved. So it was just basically a paper rock scissors. Here, here's the other thing. No, I, I, I see what you're saying. I'm also you know, not. I'm not a huge fan of the oh, let's hide my hands and bid something. I'm sorry, but that just, first off, it slows shit down. And you can kind of always guess. Like, if you know the person at all, you know what they're going to pick. Well, and also you can just look at the look and, at their card and, and say, well, well and that's the card. good one. Okay, well, yeah, that's the best one. I mean, there, there are just some that are overly obvious. With proper game balance <sighs> and maybe not an open system, I think it would be okay. Like, yeah, if you I, didn't know what the villain's... Abilities were so yeah. the hero had to think like, well, oh. this is what I know of. So the character. honestly, if they had just not had it be tiny, tiny chits and it just <laughs> been fucking cards, so that you just put a card down on the table yeah. and then flip it, so that you don't have to <laughs> take these yeah. tiny chits, and yet you can't leave them on the table because then everybody knows it's like, well, the yellow and the orange one are still on the table. I think the one in your hand is the red one. Oh. Uh, but yeah. then, and then there's like, okay, there's like four different ways of, to do like board currency or something like that. But none of them, you don't, you don't care about any of them. It's like, you know, 
did we even did anybody ever have like a support character? I did and play it. Yes. Did it help? Nick, uh, Nick did. Did it help? Because this was free. Yeah. It, it let your dice explode. I think, and then maybe there were backup powers. Yeah. No. I. I except in the fact that I got completely rolled by the Red Skull. Yes. Yeah. I mean. Now, destroyed by him. Yeah, the nemesis. But I had completely like obliterated whoever it was ahead of time. Okay, now here, now one thing we have to kind of like explain to everybody is that we're talking a lot of like inside. We're, we're kind of assuming that you're just gonna see this and then Google well, the. We're gonna presume well, you've watched our little chunk of video. That okay, we because I yeah, this I one we won't really. Have. We'll insert some into this. There will probably be some silent footage of us playing it, but what I would recommend is you yeah. go find a video on the internet that says this is how you play the game. Yeah. Right. And then, and then come and back then, and, and we'll tell you the quite, truth. Quite frankly, yeah. What, what will be explained to you is not what we experienced. <laughs> no, uh, again, I like the idea. I thought that when, some of the some of the some of the mechanics were cool. The yeah. playing the cards in or as the villains when once once it turns into a villain situation and everybody is making it worse for the hero, that was great. It did have very much. I don't really like take that games where people are ganging up on. That's not player, what it is. But it had that feeling when I was the person, and all of a sudden everyone's like, "Ooh, you know," everyone's looking at their hand. This one and this one, and there was a whole lot of points to be spent so it was like well you have this yep. guy plus this backup thing plus it's a mastermind i did feel ganged up on ganged up on kind of tense like can i do this were you triggered not quite that no no uh i understand what you're saying but but now that's a cooperative mechanic that i can get behind the kind where you're ganging, ganging up on, up on, on others. others that makes sense what I'm saying is there's still like, you know, there's still like an element of uh, risk involved, whereas with a with some of the lesser cooperative games, like the Dresden Files, um, right. you know, some of the lower tier co-op games, like the Dresden Files, um, you so, know, th then, you, then there's, this, there's not that kind of element of, where there's nothing at stake. But this, you know, you, you, you're, you're winning you're a game, game, but other than that, but then... So if you became a game designer, you would come up with the mechanic "kick me while I'm down." <laughs> uh, well, no, somebody beat me to it. They called it. It was called lunch money. <laughs> that was you know back around that same time. I thought it was called Theros. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, uh, it was called lunch money, and it was where you played you know a uh, high school bully, and you you know look at me when I'm hitting you, that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Um, a role play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was it was more like a like a, a LARP. Yes, it was more like a like a reenactment, like you know, where did they touch you on the doll? Like you know, touch the doll, point on the doll, like where, just where did they just punching the ball, the doll right yeah, in the groin, right in the groin. Um, so, uh, you know, there's that. Yeah, it, I liked the news stories. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, it, I. Whoa. <laughs> well, that was fun. <clears throat> Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> Nothing shattered. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Should you be? So, so, okay. What I'm saying is, uh, when did Settlers of Catan come out? Uh, what year? 90. Was that 98? 96. 96? 96. Yeah. Or yeah. 96. Something like that. Okay, so, you know, you have games that clamps. That's what she said. Um, so you have that as kind of like what people are referring to as kind of like the gold, like that's the standard of modern board games right now. Right. Like, you know, that's like the gateway to all board game enthusiasts. Every, pretty much everyone will say that. Mm -hmm. um, so what I think what happened is, you know, there was after that, you know, we had, then you had like Ticket to Ride and stuff like that. Like all those kind of like, you know, Euro worker place, and I'm going to butcher the things because I'm not a genre guy or whatever. Right. But all of that was There were a lot away. of gateway games. A lot of gateway thing. games. And so then, you know, then you had people who were already kind of geeks to begin with. And then all of a sudden, then games like, you know, Marvel and the X-Files and stuff like that 
started having their own board and card games or whatever. And this was kind of like in the heyday of the Magic Pro Tour, too. You know, um, so you had all this sort of stuff kind of swirling around in this big nerd pot, you know. Ah, uh, nerd pot. That was my yeah. favorite magazine. Uh, nerd, nerd <laughs> pot. Which the, the alternate title was Swamp Ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which is, you know, another... Like, you know what we're talking about. Uh, so, you had all that kind of going on, but I, I think, like, you know, the board gaming part of that sort of, like, fell through the cracks for our, for all of the other nerdy game stuff that was happening at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, 4th edition uh, D&D or whatever. Uh, yeah, or yeah. 3.5, maybe. That was probably 4th edition by then. But uh, some something like that. And then you get games like this that are just kind of, we had very good intentions. We we think we're onto something, and then, but at the time, I think at the time I remember enjoying it a lot more than I enjoy it now. I don't know if that's just because well, we, we're in a bit of a we're in a renaissance period right now. There there has uh, been a lot of, of board games, uh, a lot of design things that we've seen in role playing games, in board games, in pretty much all gaming, which is uh, moving towards simplifying mechanics. Um, I think that in some cases we may be crossing the line into the streamlining mm. where what it really means is the game has been dumbed down to the point where it's not even interesting anymore. Yeah, right. it's essentially um, the game sorry. Uh, yes, yeah. like, like where it's just like... Yeah, right. and, be careful. Yeah, and yeah. to a certain extent I think that probably one of the things that you're running into with the Dresden Files mm-hmm. is that it's just teetering right at the edge of that. It's, yeah. it's a really simple game. Yeah. yeah. Because it doesn't take long to play, that doesn't bother me. No, it's like mm-hmm. Candyland. Anyway, so, <laughs> the, the point is that you, you have that. 4th uh, Ed was a simplification of 3rd Ed. 5th Ed is honestly, in a lot of ways, a simplification of even 4th Ed in certain ways. 5th edition is too... Is I really like 5th Ed. I do. I do. Fifth, no, 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 no. I'm saying fifth edition is second edition. I said. I'm sorry, I just said two. It's sure. a. Com- it's it's an accommodation of second edition and three point five. Yeah, and a simplification. Though. Yeah, and it's, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but without making it a you know um, what do you call it a uh, world of Warcraft clone like they did with fourth edition. Uh, fourth edition essentially, essentially killing all role play. That's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking Board games. Well, yeah, board yeah, board no, board I understand. Board. What I'm so saying that back in. is that <laughs> full circle. The, my, my point was that the Marvel game was pre the point where they were starting to really pare back. Yeah. In, in turn, so you got here's a thousand different things to do. Okay. And so we look at it now, and it's like, good God, this is clunky. But at the time. Mm-hmm. It was probably, honestly, significantly simpler than an awful lot of the games because that were around. So you're like, well, this is great. Well, sure. Because if you look at games like super, super complex games, Arkham Horror, a co-op game, which actually doesn't suck, uh, you have... <laughs> what? Um, Rune Wars. Is that what it was? Rune Wars? Is that what it was? Um, did you? No, maybe I, you guys I, I didn't play it. it but okay, so Rune Wars. Yeah, yeah, Rune Wars is this fantastic uh, sort of like... It's kind of like Axis and Allies and Lords of Waterdeep had a love child. And okay. its, its name was Lemmy. And, it's, yeah. um, and they called him Douglas. Uh, <laughs> Douglas. And so, but you had like, you know, little dials where you could keep track of your resources. And you have like adventurers who go on quests. And oh, you're so it's Sailor's of Catan, the card game. The game of spinning and lying. And, but instead of wood for sheep, you know, where nobody wants to trade, it's you, you kind of like... You get wood for sheep. Yes. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, you know, in George's world, um, a stretch goal for a Kickstarter game would be like an inflatable sheep. Yep. That's yeah. the one. So. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So we've gone way off target. But yeah. so I don't know. Let's just. Have we, though? Because we've talked about stuff that we that's much better than the game. <laughs> yes. Um, um, so I'm looking for. Oh, wait. What is this now? <laughs> the the same rating system that we will use every time. I'm not doing that. Just freaking. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to come up with a number, even if you don't hold the damn die. You're gonna have to. Just do the do, do the thing, Bob. Stop being such a dick. So here's what I'm gonna give it. 
I'm going to give it a five. Ooh. Because this is the second review we've ever used this rating system, and later I'll go back and lower it because I <laughs> really didn't like this game. <laughs> but there were ideas there. I think if this, uh, if this yeah. game was remade today, I think I would like it. Fair sure. enough. Fair enough. All right. Do you want to go next or should I, Bob? I'll go next. All right. I, I'm going to give it a nine. Um, I didn't hate the game, even though I hated playing the game. Um, I am out honestly giving it a bunch of points because the miniatures look really good, yeah. even if they are super, super two thousand early 2000s in sure. terms of their sculpts. Yeah. Um, the art is neat. The feel is basically right. Yeah. Like, they got... It felt very comic booky. Sure. I'm yeah. giving it some credit for that. As a game, I'm not sure it succeeded. It You're had, not sure. I'm not sure it succeeded. The I, hour and a half that we spent, yeah, we did, which was, well, we didn't finish it. It was a little. So. It was okay. The game was slightly miserable to play. <laughs> <laughs> Much like this video is going to be slightly miserable to watch. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> If you have a chance to try it, it is a very cool game to look at. It, <laughs> so is the Dresden Files. It may be it may be one of those games where honestly, you want to look at it and say, "Wow, this is really neat," and then just not play it. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even think you can get this in print anymore. I mean, you no, have to, it's way you'd have, you'd it's have expensive. To, oh yeah, because it's like you know a collector's item. If you have now. a friend, steal their copy. Uh, don't don't steal their copy. <laughs> Sell it on eBay. That it sucks and that they just want to get rid of it and oh, give it well, to you and enough. then sell it on eBay immediately. Yeah, don't play it. Do not play it. Do not open it. <laughs> don't even look directly. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. If you open it, your face will melt off from the sheer awfulness of it. Um, but I'm going to be more generous than John wow. because I played it when it first came out. Okay. And back then, it was rather enjoyable. Back then. But that was, I'm giving it a 7. Oh, I, I thought the upside down 18 was what you were doing. No, going shut up. I'm giving it a 7. The camera's over there. I so. don't even want to do this. <laughs> this is why you have to. So I'm giving it a goddamn <laughs> approximate gener general 7 area. Okay. Alright. God. 5, Damn 7, it. 9. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the game doesn't hold up over the years, but I didn't absolutely hate it back in 1998 or whenever the fuck it came out. 2006. There. Alright. So and that's it. Well, there you go. Uh, huh. There you go. That was, that was the thing. Yes. That, that happened. 